Hey guys, it's Hink here. So I absolutely love Raina Malik. She has a phenomenal YouTube channel and is an actual urologist talking about a lot of things that are applicable to men's health. However, she got this wrong, guys. She made a video recently about non-surgical, about ways to enlarge, to increase girth. I wanted to address this because I kind of felt like Padme in Star Wars when I was like, Rena, you're, you're breaking my heart. Like you're going down a path I can't follow because you're giving out wrong information now. I feel like I need to correct it. Let's get into it guys. It starts off great. So she starts talking about like data for men and why men are interested in enlargement in general. And she brings up some interesting clips like the fact that there was a study that showed that men would rather have larger penises than be taller. 26,000 men and they found that 45% expressed wanting a larger penis, while only 38% wanted to be taller in height. So it is like really important to men that, that they have larger penises. And she also understands that there are certain groups of men that no matter how much therapy they had or trying things like erection boosting aids, like they're still gonna wanna be bigger. Like that's who she made this video for. So mad respect her for this. I'm a huge fan in general. But then she starts talking about vacuum erection devices are pumping as far as do they do anything for girth. So for those that don't know, a pump is like what you might find on peakmalephysique.com, a high quality vacuum pump that creates negative pressure to enlarge the penis. So she says, in terms of creating long lasting gains in length or girth, we have not seen that in the data. But in terms of creating a long lasting change in either length or girth, we haven't seen that. Out of respect for her, I'm not gonna go hot tank on this just because like, like I said, I respect her, but she's wrong on this. Like, Ed, Charlie Murphy wrong. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> so first of all, animal models. So as you guys have maybe seen, I have a whole two videos about like anti-locks, which are looking at rat models for enlargement using vacuum erection devices, using a pump. Here's the first model that they showed. And you can clearly see in this graph here that compared to the control, the VD is vacuum device showed a significant increase in penile length in the rats. So I know this video is based on primarily girth, but she says that specifically that pumps don't do anything for length or girth. I'm gonna prove her wrong in both accounts. Here's that rat study there, guys. If you, you should watch my entire video on locks and anti-locks and how it works. It's really fascinating data, real life stuff. So then they doubled down and repeated this experiment in rats that were going through puberty. And once again, it showed that when you're pumping at either 200 millimeters of mercury or 300 millimeters of mercury compared to a control, that alone will give you a significant increase in penile length. You can see that in that chart right here, guys. If you wanna reach me and have a conversation with me or even see these videos early, please check out my patreon.com slash docking. Here is the really crazy thing, guys. She was actually part of a study. She recruited for a study that literally is a counter argument to the point she's just making. So there's something that's called the P-Long study. If you haven't seen my video on it, please see it. It's like one of my top performing videos. But they combined using an extender, nitric oxide boosting supplement, a pump, and PRP to prove that non-surgical enlargement works. And it does, guys. In this study, I don't really believe all the findings, but they increased their length by eight-tenths of an inch, almost an inch in length, and a half an inch in girth in six months, guys. So that alone shows that this works, guys. Increase in length and girth. And just of note, they do use this crappy supplement <laughs> that, that is supposed to be a nitric oxide boosting supplement, but only has 750 milligrams of nitric oxide, guys. Our Vigor has 5,000 milligrams of nitric oxide and many other important ingredients. If you wanna try it, check it out. It can help with erection quality and help keep you safe if you were doing any kind of enlargement activity by preserving your endothelial tissue function. So she has a trial that she participated in that literally contradicts her point. And then if that's not enough, here is a pay study and actually Peyronie disease. Now I get it, Peyronie's disease is a disease like where your you know, D will have a bend in it, guys. Um, but this is still data showing that pumps can cause change. In this study, there was a significant increase in the stretch flaccid length, which is not the same as erect length, but it is a surrogate for that. And it showed that there was a mean change of 0.5 centimeters with a range of 0.5 to 1.5 centimeters increase in length when guys used pumping daily. Here is another study here, guys. I also made a video about this. You should check it out. It showed that combining manual stretches and pumping, which is something that I recommend. So this study showed that there was an average increase in length of 0.67 inches and 0.5 inches in girth and an erect volume increase 
of 37%, guys. Here's the paper right there, guys. I mean, like, this is real, this is real published data. I don't know why. Now, in fairness, there's flaws with every single study that I've talked about so far. There is a, at least one major flaw in it, but it is still published data. And she talks about other trials that have flaws. I don't understand why she did not include this. She also mentions in her video that pumps only can lead to temporary gains, but yet the name of this trial is permanent non-surgical enlargement. Like it's literally in the name. So it's like, what are, what are you doing, Rena? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why? And generally when these studies have looked at it, the protocols they've used is about 20 minutes, three times a week. And they've shown generally no increase in size and overall low satisfaction rates. So she also talks about how the studies typically used about 20 minutes, three days a week. Guys, that's not enough. I've talked about this before. I personally think you can do at least some form of PE on a daily basis. I've talked about how I don't really agree with like needing rest days, but that's a different video for a different day. But 20 minutes, three times a day, it's not enough, guys. That is not going to get you gained. So if you are looking at studies that primarily are using 20 minutes, three times a week, which there are published studies showing that that is that they did not get gains, then of course that's not gonna be enough, guys. But once again, in her P-Long study, they did 12 minutes of pumping twice a day, seven days a week for six months in a in a literal protocol that she was that she participated in. Like they didn't even do 20 minutes, three days a week. Like how are you gonna argue it doesn't work at that range when it doesn't work at that range? Like of course. And then in that permanent non-surgical enlargement, they used 30 minutes every day, guys, every day. You are going to need to pump more. I've gone over my recommendations before, guys, or in my other pumping videos. Just see my entire playlist of what I literally recommend if you guys are interested in learning how to actually do this. She also talks about how that there is no increase in size and low satisfaction rates. That's not true, guys. These studies all have evidence of improving like erectile function and high levels of like sexual satisfaction when they actually do surveys. So I don't know where that's coming from, that there's, there's low satisfaction. If anything, there's very high satisfaction. And there is a company, initials BM, and they like to report that 80% of the guys saw an increase in their temporary size within at least like two months. Temporary gains, guys, like there are some benefit. I know we're talking about permanent gains, but I don't think that you can just say like, oh, temporary gains don't count, like who cares? Temporary gains can make a huge difference for guys. There's kind of some like basic pumping anatomy that, I mean, this isn't like hard evidence, but so for example, guys, check this out. This is an excerpt from a, from a study that was at least like republished on, on nature about pumping, which is in my pumping part one video that if you haven't seen it, you need to watch, but they say, so Broderick et al. showed by color Doppler ultrasound that the negative pressure transiently drew arterial blood into the sinusoidal spaces of the cavernosal tissue, increasing its diameter by twofold. The change in, di in diameter owed itself to both intracorporeal and extracorporeal distension. So both inside and outside of the penis, it got larger, guys. It was like permanent dilation over time. And guys, I've talked about this before, like in those LOX studies, anti lysoloxidase studies that I talked about, they hypothesize that there is an aneurysmal, meaning the actual tunica, the hard connective tissue, dilates over time, and that what's le that's what leads to enlargement. She did not even mention any of those studies on megalophallus, which literally proved girth gains by guys that have like chronic conditions like sickle cell anemia, and sometimes can get these like girth distensions of 10 inch circumference members because of their conditions that have to get surgically corrected. Yeah, I get it, that is not like a study proving that you can cause that, but it is literally proof of concept that chronic aneurysmal dilation can lead to enlargement. Once again, she just fails to neglect the entire like megalophallus medical condition, which I know she's aware of as an actual urologist. We also have papers like this one that actually show that Combining a pump with something like a PDE5 inhibitor, like a Viagra or Cialis, can actually chronically improve erectile function. I get it, that's not like in true enlargement of tissue, but if you have better erection quality and therefore you have bigger erections, that's going to lead to an increase in size, directly related to pumping. So guys, the rest of this video is, is really good. I mean, like, you guys should please watch that video. She did get that entire section on pumping incorrect, in my opinion, but it is still a phenomenal video. She is a phenomenal YouTube channel and you guys can learn a lot and she's a, quite honestly a huge inspiration to me. 
but she got that wrong guys there's plenty of evidence in both like anecdotal so guys that don't know me like i had major girth gains from pumping when i first started out my girl her hand her fingers would touch and now there's like a gap like this oh hink you're just full of stuff guys it's like uh, i posted my that's part of the reason why i wear this mask so i can post actual pictures and be like yes guys i actually did this this is actually my proof available on our subreddit slash like r slash getting bigger if you want to check that out if you don't believe me because unlike all of these other guys on YouTube, I actually have proof of like what I'm telling you and proof of my gains. But she, she got she got pumping wrong, guys. Animal, anecdotal models, and actual real life models in both like healthy men, a study she participated in, and in Peyronie's disease. I mean, she just she 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 fumbled she fumbled this one, or at least that small section of it. And that's part of the reason why people are like, oh, PE doesn't work. It's like, no, it does work. There's evidence. You just are missing the evidence or misinterpreting the evidence. But guys, I hope you learned something. I had fun. Love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace and love.